Hi everybody and welcome to Penfinity. My name is Wesley Vanitu and in the, um, this quick one, it's not going to be about the lesson, but um, my opinion uh, about an email I received uh, recently. Uh, first of all, guys, thank you for, for your kind word. Um, I am nowhere near what you say in the email, but thank you, I really appreciate it. It, 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 it really make, uh, makes my day. But I want to talk about the term uh, blender artist. So I, I want to address something. I am not a blender artist. I never was and never will be. Um, I, I am a CG artist, if I can call myself like that, using Blender. And uh, I know, yeah, uh, uh, some of you will tell me, no, but you, you play on words and stuff like that. But from what I've seen um, since, my, uh, since I start my journey in CG on, on the different Blender forum, this is not uh, just a simple term. Um, you have really a huge advocate of uh, Blender. And that's good because that's why the, the Blender community is so huge and so uh, so kind and helpful. But at the same time, in my opinion, you have to detach yourself uh, from what you are using uh, to have a better perspective of what works and what uh, doesn't work. And it will allow you to give precious feedbacks to the, to the dev team um, in the Blender of, uh, Foundation. To make um, to make Blender even better, so that's why I try to stay as uh, as cold as possible uh, uh, when I'm when I'm using uh, uh, um, a piece of software, Blender or, or whatever. I, I try to to not be too attached to it because I want my skill to be software independent. I want to master the fundamentals of of light or um, understand in uh, in real life how texture work or um to and after that with that knowledge and then um the knowledge of of the, of the tool uh, be able to try to recreate reality but you you have to be versatile uh, your skill your foundation has to be strong so if for whatever reason you switch you you um um you hire by a studio using I don't know Maya and Arnold or 3ds Max and V-Ray. Your knowledge um, has to be adaptable to to uh, to the pine plane, you know. And the problem when you're too attached to a software, you don't want to open your mind to um, other avenue, and that's not the good thing. My goal with Penfinity, of course, is to. Um, to uh, show people you can create world-class images with 100% uh, open source pipeline. Uh, why? Because simply when I start my journey, I was in a, not in a really good spot. I was jobless, so I have to. to I, I was formerly a graphic designer, but where I live, it's pretty. It's really hard to make a living as a, as a graphic designer. And I try to uh, after that to freelance um, uh, internationally, and this is where I realized my skill wasn't uh, near what's out there. And uh, I sat down and decide to um, and, and think about what, what I want to do for the rest of my life. And 3D came first, so so that's how I started. And the problem was I didn't have money to uh, to buy a computer strong enough and. Uh, uh, 3ds Max didn't even install on on what I had at the time, so um, I uh, I was looking for uh, um, what's the term an, an alternative, and I found Blender, Blender and GIMP, and I have my first freelance job after so six months of really hard work tried to learn how to 3d model and stuff lighting etc and, and i found my first job and then uh not a single time the client asked me um what i was using and i realized it's not about the tool it's about your skill and um and i decided to to start this journey uh with penfinity to show it's it if you work if you work really hard um, the tool you use uh, doesn't matter. Uh, you will be able to find job to find a really cool job, but you have to be 
um, you, you have to be open-minded and uh, um, if you have to to, ad, um, to adapt in a studio or, or whatever but but if you if you're a freelancer I I will show you and, and this is the the journey I started I will show you how how you can create really uh, really badass images y using tools that people think it's cheap and in fact is definitely not it's just because the and, and this this is another big problem of blender in the beginning uh, people th uh, thought blender uh, was cheap because um, most of the artwork um, in blender was cheap and i don't want to uh, to be uh, don't get me wrong i i don't want to to be mean about it but you have um, an institute the blender foundation work really really hard to provide to us a tool for free you can 3d model you can render you can animate you can do everything in blender you can sculpt my opinion is you have to put your your hardest work to uh because to me the you have two ways to to give back to uh, to blender of course the first one is money but in my opinion, the most important one is to produce really amazing artwork. It's my, I, I have the obligation to, to, to do that because I cannot uh, just use this amazing software and, and produce shit. And uh, you have those guys working really hard to, uh, uh, to make it awesome for us. Uh, we have the obligation to make really world-class artwork because it will benefit um, the Blended Foundation, they will be able to showcase really amazing art and promote the software uh, and have uh, much more fun. Uh, and it will give them um, more more possibilities to hire uh, other guys to uh, to make it even more awesome. Uh, but to do that, you have to detach yourself enough from the software, look what works, what doesn't. Uh, give feedback, give precious feedbacks, and produce amazing art. So keep that in mind. So that's uh, uh, this is what I want to to, to address. So yeah, uh, n never forget that you are not you are not defined uh, by by the software you use. It's the country. The uh, um, the tool sh should be at your service to to, to create images. So uh, yeah, this is it. So let me know what you think about it. And um, as always, if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me um, at uh, on Instagram at pen underscore affinity and on my email info at pen And the next, the next lesson um, I will talk about, uh, it will be about 3D modeling. And uh, the title is The Power of Release. So see you soon, everybody.